congratulations on it's a wonderful knife how fucking you, cool girl. especially with Thank the reception you. I mean did you expect so many people to be so into this movie you know I I did and I didn't I was really excited for queer people to see it that was who I really want I mean this is who this movie is for you know it's for us so, you know, I was excited about that. And I knew the reception from my, because I have a lot of queer Yellow Jackets fans. I knew they would love this and eat this <laughs> up. So I was really excited for them. I was like, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> Jane just spreading the queerness to all of us forever. Very excited. Well, I'm excited also for hopefully a new generation of horror fans to see how queer the genre is. That's like, it's got to yeah. be so exciting to be at the kind of the forefront of that, especially when like Michael Kennedy and stuff like that's just got to be such a good feeling as a queer person too. No, it's a really, really great feeling. And this set was incredible. We had our pronouns listed on our names on the call sheet and our characters' pronouns, which was just incredible. I've never had that before. It warmed my heart. And we had an entire like pronoun etiquette sheet that was attached to the call sheet every day. It was amazing. I love that. I love safe sets for queer people. That's so exciting. I know. I know. <laughs> So what is your relationship to the horror genre though? Like as a fan, are you a fan of the horror genre? Like what, yeah. Oh yeah, big okay, cool. fan, <laughs> big fan. I think I was mentioning this earlier, like the first horror film that I saw was The Village by M. Night Shyamalan when I was like in fourth grade. Like, oh, what a good movie. I, I know. Says, I love that movie forever. <laughs> and me too, me too. And the funny thing is I knew I was in deep when I wasn't scared, like after I watched that movie. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need more of this. <laughs> and I'm a huge true crime fan, like beyond huge. So I think that just kind of feeds into like the horror gateway, you know? Oh yeah. Were you a big um holiday horror fan? Were you, do you know kind of about that subgenre at all? I knew a little bit. I definitely wasn't as familiar as I am now, um, like watching, you know, there were Silent Night that came out and then what was uh Krampus um oh. yeah definitely watch it I watched those to prep for this but it was really cool to see that genre and see you know I'd seen like a little bit I think I had seen Krampus before but none of the other ones I'd seen so it was really cool to dive into a separate genre of horror that I'd never really approached before and I, I really found a love for it so Cool. So, isn't it wild like it's so fun because it's so yeah. pretty and grotesque and mm -hmm. blood and snow is just you know I think it's blood and snow <laughs> looks so good together it's <laughs> so good but so I had previously talked to director Tyler McIntyre about how um you and Jess actually shaped a lot of the queerness in the film and I wanted to hear more from just from you and your voice about mm -hmm. how y'all approached that and like what your kind of thought process was and even making it more queer than it already was yeah, so we had a director session with Tyler. I think it was probably like three days before we started filming. And it was the first time that Jess and I met. And as soon as we started doing this scene, we could just, there was just this chemistry between us. And it was evident to everyone. Um, and it's funny because as people, as actors, Jess and I have no chemistry whatsoever. Like we would not work together outside of the project it's hilarious it's just funny like it's one of those movie magic things where so cool. two in two characters just they work you know it was so cool um but then yeah I think it was like the second or third day on set we were like so if we don't do something by the end of this we're gonna be queer baiting and we don't we don't want to do that so it's kind of it kind of needs to happen um and then Michael was like yeah I'm on board and then Tyler was on board and then everybody was on board and then it was happening and then they were they said they were going to get a different version where we just hug that didn't end up happening there wasn't enough time so <laughs> oh darn oh, wait, oh darn. No. darn it oh goodness oh no <laughs> well and also you get to also be like play with an incredible cast like Catherine Isabel Justin Long Joel McHale, what was that experience like working with these actors who both had like a horror history and also were just are just like hilarious? Joel, like Joel McHale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's super cool to see veteran actors work and their process. And I just even baby actors. There are a lot of baby actors that we have on this set. Aiden has who plays my brother. Um, I think this was like one of his like first films that he ever did. Mm -hmm. Uh the girl who plays my best friend, Hannah. Um like I 
think, first feature film. So it was just really cool to see the dichotomy between like having really, really veteran actors and having baby actors and seeing everybody's different process. I always love, I'm a child actor, so I love seeing different actors' processes. Um, it's so different from my own. I wasn't trained. It's kind of just like in there, you know? Uh, so I but watching... thought about that and how different that must be to like, yeah. oh, that's so that is really cool actually yeah yeah so I'm always so fascinated I'm like what's your process what do you do and you know Jess has this little book that they kept and it kind of had everything I had my crazy person timeline where I would like zoom in on my iPad you know Hell yeah. um <laughs> but yeah I mean Joel and Justin such great comedic timing and watching them just be able to pull these lines at like the drop of a hat that you're like, that was perfect. I think at the end of the film, you know, I'm like, oh, I didn't get into NYU mom. And Joel goes, yeah, that would have cost us a lot. That wasn't in the script. Like he made that because he is like a dad, like that is his personality, you know? Um, and I love Joel. Everything with Joel is a bit, it's hilarious. Um, even just like him walking down the street is a bit. Um, and then Justin is so cool because he's like so focused and he's so immersed in the character and then he can just like step out of it and be a normal person. They're like, whoa, okay. That's always so crazy to me. Scary. I don't understand. As someone who is like not, I'm like, a, I'm a creative. I'm not an actor. It's wild to watch that process from anybody. It's so cool and kind of scary. Yeah. You guys are kind of scary. Sometimes I can do that. Like sometimes I can jump in and out, but other times I just, you know, it's hard to do that. So it's yeah. super cool to be able to see, you know, somebody who's been doing this for so long be able to just boom pop in and out and just know their craft so well and then Catherine oh my god the things that she adds her little I loved her little feet going down the stairs like it's just the little things that Catherine mm -hmm. adds that just makes it oh so good I mean had you seen ginger snaps before too mm -hmm. okay I was, I, that, I, was, I was like how do you not like nerd out over Catherine Isabel being your aunt in this movie like that's oh my god so cool no it's so cool and the fact that she's my gay aunt like yeah really I know I just oh. and again like I just love how queer and I love how you made this movie queer we just need more movies like this and I know that you know yeah. Michael Kennedy is obviously unabashedly queer in his in his writing and so I'm curious is that one of the things that really attracted you to this script too when you first read it definitely I mean uh -huh. anything queer and like sign me up but also just the warmth in the heart. I mean, this film is scary and funny, but it also has like a warm little gooey center, you know? And I just, I loved that. And I love, even though, you know, like half of it was what Jess and I created, I already loved the Bernie and Winnie duo, you know? I, yes. I just, I love that. And I mean, Jess and I always say like, you put two non-binary actors together in a scene, I, what, what do you think is going to happen? You know, so it's just, <laughs> it's, it was cool to be able to be a part of that. And yeah, I, it was a great experience. So neat. That's just neat. I'm curious what your favorite scene was to film. Cause there are so many good like comedic moments, but then also some really good scare moments. So, and mm -hmm. you're in so much of this movie. So I was just curious, like, did you have a favorite moment that you guys were able to pull off? Yeah, um, so the scene where it's just me and Joel in his office, um, that one was crazy because we just, we we both, it was one of those things where you don't really know what's going to happen in a scene because you have to play off of each other so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I probably, like, going into it, I couldn't have told you what the lines were for the scene because, like, I needed him so much to, you know what I mean? Like, give me, yeah. give me that. And so that was super cool um, and doesn't often happen like that. And then just being able to connect with him and, you know, we bonded, like, he does feel like, oh, he did feel like a dad, you know, like, he would, like, take care of me if I had, like, a problem. He'd be like, I'll go talk to him. I'll go fight him for you. I was like, thanks, dad. Um, so it was just really, it was really sweet. And we walked out of there, like we'd won the Super Bowl and everybody was like, are you guys good? And we're like, we just crushed that. We just crushed that. Um, so that was really, really cool. And the, the whole like the tear thing, like I didn't even realize that the light was on my face, on that side of my face. Until 
because they were like that was that was where the light was getting and I was like I, I didn't know that I don't you're like yeah I did that on that. purpose I totally can do that yeah uh-huh I, like, can- I totally did that on purpose <laughs> That's in- that's incredible. I love that. You're like, yeah, totally. I'm that good. <laughs> I did want to ask really quick. Did you ever expect how much love your character was going to get on Yellow Jackets? Like Laura Lee forever. <laughs> no, I didn't actually. And I think part of that is because um, I wasn't even supposed to like survive first plane crash. So, oh, yeah. So I okay. just was, you know, I, I'm just happy to be here. You know, I'm just happy to be alive around. for yeah. now. You know, <laughs> it's not like a second plane crash is going to take me out. That would be too wild. That would be too crazy. That would be, be too crazy. crazy. They wouldn't do that. But it's got a little bit, I mean, like you mentioned that you, the, a lot of queer fans from Yellow Jackets, that must have been really cool to get that, find that community too from Yellow Jackets fans, because that like the online presence from that show is absolutely rabid in a good way. Yeah. So that has got to be cool to find that queer audience, like that queer, young queer audience, especially. Yeah. And it was really cool because when we did the, or when episode eight got released, Yellow Jackets kind of like blew up on Twitter and that was when it happened and it was really cool to see that it kind of like happened and coincided with the episode like the Larley episode I was like oh okay but it also allowed me to engage with a lot of um the fans on Twitter and I would talk I talked to them for like month like a few months afterwards and it was just really really cool to be able to engage with them and they're hilarious like you said they're also rabid the things that they create (laughs) and come up with hilarious um but yeah I love I love the Yellow Jackets fandom and they're amazing so yeah that's so fun it's so awesome to see you breaking into horror scene would you be in another horror film again and oh of course planning to be in another horror film what do you have coming up I want to know well I have been striking (laughs) oh that's you know that uh, yeah that's true and congratulations but thankfully it's over yeah <laughs> yeah so we'll see what's next I also am in school I'm working on getting my bachelor's degree so that's like oh. kind of my work but I'm still so... acting no I'm um, actually English I love writing so cool I, I also got my English degree it's a good I don't care what people say a lot of people don't know how to write a sentence and being able to know how to write is very important exactly I completely agree <laughs> <laughs> I say as a writer like um yeah no literally <laughs> Well, Jane, it was so awesome to get to chat with you. I appreciate you taking the time to chat about It's a Wonderful Knife. And I'm so excited for everyone to keep watching this new holiday classic. I'm excited to watch it every year. Thank you. Thank you so much.